everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. You should have seen the fiasco of trying to sit down. <laughs> I get into this little room, and Jim goes, I didn't turn the heat on. It is a little chilly. It's chilly out there today. It was nice yesterday, but it's a little chilly, and as the day has gone on, it's gotten a little colder and a little colder. Pretty yeah, boy. The temperature right now is like 56 outside, it's so for chilly. our area, that's It's warm, warm if you were going from 30 to... Whatever, but we went. We went from like eighty to fifty. It's like cold. Uh, eighty was strange for us here. Yes, it was, but it was a nice feeling. I liked it. <laughs> and then I had to take care of Pretty Boy because Pretty Boy does his crow for me. I have my special crow. Do you have a special crow? <laughs> you want to hear my special crow? <laughs> <laughs> I can do it. It's ur, 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 ur. it's got that little ur at the end, and I know it's my crow. He's up on the railing calling me, and when I come out, then he does it again, and the other girls come running because Mr. Brown is at the other side of the gate pacing back and forth because she knows the the call. She says, oh, it's snack time, and then the one that's in chicken jail, she starts her noise to make sure I don't forget her. I always give it to the one in chicken jail, and I think... When she comes out on Tuesday, I'm going to have to put Little Lady in. That's so sad. I have to put Little Lady in there. She's not nasty when you go to take the legs, eggs, legs, <laughs> take the eggs out from underneath her, but she's puffing up and making that noise, and so I know she's broody. So she's going to have to go in there for three days, which will be sad. I put her in. I take the one out on Tuesday, her look alike, and then she will have to go in. I'm going to put a little video in that I did yesterday, actually, but I didn't want to make the video so long, so I kept it out. But we're going to go and see what Jim was up to with the motorcycles. Today has been a busy day. Jim got the motorcycle out. That one's out. He pulled the Jeep out of the barn so that he could have the motorcycles all down here. And for those of you that wonder, this is the bike I ride. It's got the extra wheels on the back, but if you were to look at the bike, you'd say, I have four wheels. Why does she have four wheels? Well, the two wheels that are on the outside, they come off, and it would be just a two-wheel bike then again. But I like it. I feel like I need the extra wheels. My balance is not as good as it once was. But this is my little 250 Honda. Isn't she cute? Then, after this, well, after that video... I have another video for you, and this one shows the asparagus. And what I was wanted to show is I'm hoping Kathleen is watching uh, my Alabama Life. I think her channel name is, I'm pretty sure. I'd have to make sure, and I will put it in the more section so that you get it correct. But she was talking about putting asparagus in, and I wanted to show her what it looks like the first year and approximately the first year, the second year, the third year, and up to the, about the fourth year, and then after that it just gets fatter and fatter. I don't know how long we've had it. We've had it for quite a while, but there's always new ones coming up. So this way she can kind of see. And asparagus, even though it looks like it's gone every year, every season, it comes back up. And then um, because we don't want it to look messy in the yard, we tie it up and all the seeds kind of drop in that area. So... We will get a lot of asparagus. I only got a little bit today, but we enjoyed it. It was very tasty. Mm, very tasty. Yeah, it was. Well, did I say I was going to put, did I put that video in? I don't know. Mm. If I didn't, it's going mm. in right here. I wanted to show the, the asparagus before I pick it. This, this asparagus right here is probably a two-year asparagus. You, and this one too is probably two years. This one right here, this would be what a first year asparagus would look like. And this is what probably a uh, four year asparagus might look like. They get fatter as they go. And if you notice, I, I pull down on it and where it snaps, that's where it's good. It's like a two year, so you take a hold of it and where it snaps. This way you don't, ha you don't have any of the tough stuff. Take a hold of the top and just, whoops, this one doesn't want to break. There, and it broke. 
and the bigger they get the woodier they could get so you just want to snap it where it where it um, breaks don't try to don't try to get more there's not very much right now but we'll take this one well, there's another one I can take and I'll take that one take these peewee ones Even the one-year one, first time around, it's it'll taste good. It's got the flavor. Just to give you a visual of what the asparagus does per year, this is like a first year. This is like a second year, third year, and fourth year of asparagus. They get fatter as the years go by, so... I even eat I eat them when they're this small. I don't let them any of them go to waste. There's others that will come up and they will go to seeds. So you never worry that you're taking the seeds what could possibly be for another year. Just eat it and enjoy it. Nothing like fresh asparagus. Well, I hope you all had a great day and I will talk to you all again tomorrow. So you take care. Bye-bye.